We already know that central control can be used to control multiple instances of vMix on the same network. But many of you have asked, could I use central control to control an instance of vMix running in the cloud? Yes, you can. And in this video, I kind of want to show you how you do that. So anyway, let's get into the tutorial. So if we come over to my desktop, you'll see that I already have an instance of vMix running in the cloud. This is AWS, and I'm actually uh, I'm calling into my own vMix instance. And over here, I have central control. Now, quite often in these videos, I start with a new central control project. Not this time. What we're going to do is this is a project I'm already using. I've got my LC11 just set up for my show. And I also, on my desk, I have my Stream Deck, which I just have a couple of buttons on, and my XTouch. The XTouch isn't in the project, but we're going to add it to it. And we're also going to add in this X keys, which we're going to use pretty much exclusively for the um, for switching the AWS instance. But we're also, just to demonstrate, we're going to add in some controls for the local vMix instance because you know one controller can control as many instances of vMix as you want. And they can be cloud instances too. So let's go back to my desktop and actually get this set up. So I've got this instance running. It's running great. The first thing we need to do to actually be able to communicate with this instance is to go into the management console and set up our security groups. If we don't do this, we won't be able to talk to the instance because we need to open up the ports that central control needs to talk to the instance. So let's go back in here. I'm going to go to instances, and this is my Something's going crazy. This is my instance. And then I'm going to go to the security tab and then click security groups because this is the group that it's assigned to. And well, it's going to take a minute. Here we go. And I'm going to do edit inbound rules. Let's add a rule. It's going to be TCP because we use the vMix TCP connection. Port 8099. And I'm a bit of an idiot, so I'm going to let connections in from anyone, absolutely anyone, so you can connect and control my show. So let's do this. What you do if you were clever is you'd select my IP. So only people, only you can connect to it, or you'd add in you know, the IP of your director, producer, uh, A1, whatever. For now, I'm just going to open it to everyone. So let's do save rules. And this is great. So now the next thing I need to do is come to this instance and go here. And I need to use the public IP address, which I believe is this. Copy that to my clipboard, and I'm going to add another instance of vMix, and I will type this in. My bad, it's not that. It's not that at all. It's this one. If I go to the instances homepage, public address. I guess the clue is in the name when it said private. But again, live to tape. I won't edit this out. So let's type this in. Let's add this in, and then press on. We're connected. So we know we're connected because when I click on this, it stayed on. It didn't turn itself off. So we've now got this connected, and I'll just rename this to AWS vMix, so I can easily differentiate between my local vMix and my AWS instance of vMix. OK, great. Now we have that in. We're connected. Let's add our X keys. We've got the 124 T bar. That's great. Put that in. And then we will add the, uh, well, let's, let's map in the X touch as well. Why not? Let's go crazy. Turn that on. All of these elements are now on. That's great. And we can start mapping them. So I'm going to, and this is, by the way, this is not a central control mapping tutorial. If you want to know how to do that, there are loads of other tutorials on the channel about how to map stuff. Even if they don't seem relevant to you, it's all much the same. Like this is not too different to map to the X keys, so on and so forth. So just watch them and, and you'll get an idea. So I'm going to really quickly go over it now. So in terms of my X keys, I'm going to pick it up. We'll click device mapping. And then I'm going to just do jump to control, find the one I want. And I'm really going to quickly map my AWS vMix. So this, this box here selects which vMix we're going to map or which device we're going to map. It could be any device. It doesn't just have to be vMix. And then we will go to um, set preview. And this is a nice new feature in the latest update I can type into this box. Type preview, set mix preview, which is what we want. And I'm going to turn on quick assign, we'll map. We've only got eight sources, so we'll do eight. Great. And then I'm going to do this, and this is going to be my program row. Blah, blah, blah. We've all seen this before. Take this back down to one. Great. That's fine. Take button, I want to map. Uh, we'll do take mix. Let's spell it right. 
add that, and then auto one I'll do, I won't do the others because it's time in. Superb, so that's done, that's done, and let's mount the T-bar. We need the T-bar, I can't do the show without the T-bar. Make sure to go on the right vmix. T-bar, great. And that's, that's looking good. So in theory, as soon as I start pressing buttons here, I'm now controlling that remote instance. And this is like, I'll show you, you, you don't believe me. It's all happening over the internet. The, the machine's actually in a different continent. Uh, T-bar works really nice and smooth, no problems at all. And I can take, I can do anything I, I'd be able to do if it was running locally. Let's also map the um, X-Touch. Let's come in here, device mapping. Uh, and we'll go faders, fader one. We'll do set mixer level and we'll just do the first eight channels. Great. Oh, that's actually the wrong vmix. So that's what I was talking about. So let's actually just quickly remove these. And let's, let's not remove them all though. Let's keep the last four. We'll keep the last four as my local machine and we'll, keep, we'll do these as the remote machine. So we, we can mix and match. So let's do this again. Let's do set mixer level. Great, that is excellent. So some of these are on the AWS, some are, are local. We'll also do the VU meters for fun. We won't do everything, but we'll do the VUs. So AWS VMix, and we'll just do these. And you can actually see that already I'm getting feedback from the AWS instance. I'm metering the levels from the cloud machine on my local X touch, which is a really nice touch. And that is pretty much that. I, I have now got complete control over an instance of vMix running on AWS alongside my local instance. So if I just turn these, um, if I turn these on and off, which is a good idea because it just synchronizes the state so we're, we're in the right place. That's great. If I come over, it will show you, I'll show you the vMix I'm using to actually do this. And I'll come over to my... Where's my screen on here? This is it. And then if, if I start moving this fader, we're controlling a channel on the local. And then if I come over here, control this, we do it. We've got one on the AWS copy. Just like that, that simple. If you have any more questions, please do send me an email. I'm gonna do more and more tutorials. So if you want to see something covered that I haven't, send me an email, I'll get that video done. Until next time, I'll see you later.